Welcome back to Trailer Rob. Today we're going to do a bench top review of the XDM Elite Compact 10 millimeter. This gun is a uh, 10 millimeter compact 3.8 um, inch barrel. Comes with uh, two stainless steel magazines. Um, you can see right here. Two ten, ten, um, ten round magazine stainless steel. Remove this flag. Throw that over there. We can see that it's clear. Magazine is clear. And the second mag is also clear. Uh, right there. So what we have here is the XDM Elite Compact 10 millimeter. It's, uh, made in Croatia. This here um, has, uh, of course, the two stainless steel magazines, and we have the um, magwell grip right here that you can see that's flared, and this grip is uh, interchangeable, so you can adjust this grip by uh, in changing the back scraps on here, but you would have to take this whole entire magwell magwell off to do that. But um, I don't. I don't really know what number this is. I didn't change it. I I, I felt it I felt good in the hands for me, right off the bat. So I left the um, the grip um that that it came with on there, and it shoots well with that grip right there. And you also you can um, when you first buy this gun, you can choose to get the uh, version with the hex wasp uh, optic on it. Um, and you can see that this gun comes already optic ready. It has ambidextrous controls on both sides, uh, on the mag wheel, on the mag release on both sides. Also on the, um, the slide lock, you can see that it's on both sides. This gun has um, several uh, safety features. You can see that it has a, a safety on the trigger. It has a safety on the grip. It has a loaded chamber indicator, and it also has a striker status indicator letting you know that this gun is ready to be fired. And um, again, you can see it's clear and fired. Let me see if we caught that, but you can see right there. I'm gonna press this down. And you can see that it, that it does fire right there. Also, you see it has the U-notch on the rear sight, U-notch sight uh, on, the, on the rear, and on the front, it has the red fi uh, fiber optic sights right there, and these both uh, can be replaced if you want, uh, want it to replace them. You can see that it has the uh, front serrations and the rear serrations. This uh, makes uh, racking the gun really easy. This gun racks uh, really easy. Um, for a 10 millimeter racks really easy from the front or the rear you can see that it racks really easy um, you know it don't take a whole lot to uh, rack this gun here it's also um, um, has a trigger weight that's really um, really good this, this trigger weight is the trigger weight is approximately four pounds and you can see the reset on there. And so it's got a nice reset. It's got a nice soft uh, trigger pull for uh, four pounds, approximately. And so that's that's really cool. And the grip quality itself, again, you can see the serrations on the grip quality. And um, as you look at those, you can see they go all around. All the way around 360 degrees on your on your um, serrated grips, which gives this gun a really good control when you're shooting it, because um, you can really get a grip on it. Now breaking this down, this gun down is really simple. Probably um, one of the more simple guns to break down. First thing you want to do is you want to take your mag out. You want to make sure that you're clear. Obviously, once that you, once you're clear, you want to lock this here to the rear. You lock that to the rear, you rotate this up. You rotate that up, you unlock it, it slides right off. It slides right off. 
it's pretty amazing. And then, of course, when you take this apart, you want to take you want to take uh, your recoil spring out. Re recoil spring, all of this is metal. That's 100% metal. Uh, everything is made of metal right there. It's awesome. Springfield gave you a little bit of extra. Cold, um, um, this here barrel is a cold hammered forged barrel. And you can see right there where it says that it's a match barrel. I don't know if I can get that to focus. Yeah. But anyway, it says match barrel on there, so it's pretty, pretty awesome. And so you got a um, good cold, um, cold hammered forged barrel. And you got on your slides the the, um, the quality of the slide. You can see it's dirty because I'm carrying it and I hasn't haven't cleaned it. So maybe that's my next step is to clean this thing, um, clean this thing up a little bit. But that's it though for field scripting. That's really all you need to do to get um, to get in there and to um, and for cleaning. That's the force you need to take it. I wouldn't really go any further than doing anything other than that if you're not a gunsmith you don't want to just be taking stuff apart putting it back together just as easy as it was to take it apart put those back back on there just sets right in there really simple easy you want to take this here put the slide in there take this back lock it back again rotate that forward there you go bam and that's it and that that's assembly and disassembly really quick really easy and um overall though this gun has, has been a really good gun the next video that i would do on this gun um probably other than cleaning it would be probably a range day so maybe we'll go to the range come back from the range and then we'll clean this bad boy and we'll go over how i like to clean my uh, weapons um I got, um, everybody got their own way of cleaning what they use, what they think you should use or what you shouldn't use. Um, so, um, maybe I get out hopefully soon, do a range day and then we'll come back and we'll do, um, a cleaning. And so we'll call it a range and cleaning day. But until then, um, everybody stay safe, stay loaded, um, and stay vigilant, keep the faith. And uh, remember, uh, God is still in control. So um, have a nice day. Thank you.